Will you help me solve this puzzle? Great, you will. Then the carriage will start running. Wait, I was too busy doing a Blue's Clues impression, I wasn't... Something is on the wheel. Light the Queen, the King and the Jack. Queen, King, Jack. Queen, King, Jack. Queen, King, Jack. Queen, King, Jack. The number 11. What's that got to do with anything? 12. Oh my god, I don't even remember this puzzle. Well, I remember it, but I... I hmm. Alright, do you know what? Screw this. Right, so I'll go with that. That. I bet there's a note in here or something giving me a clue how to do this. No. That. This would be too easy if it was like this, but still, I'll try. No. Come on, be cool. Nope. <laughs> this is just me being lazy and not trying to work out a puzzle. Okay, there's only two more possible combinations it could be. So it could be this. Nope. Always the last one you try. Well, of course it would be, because you wouldn't get it right and then keep trying, would you? Think about what you're saying. <laughs> Process of elimination for the win. To be fair, if that didn't work, I would have been so fucked. And I'm sure there's a file in here somewhere. I'm sure someone will point it out in the comments, at least, anyway. But I got the cogs wheel. Maybe I could have saved myself 30 seconds, but hey. What would I have done in that 30 seconds? Boiled an egg? Okay then, so back to... what's the quickest way? Yeah, we'll go to the main hall and then up that ladder. Good times. You know, there's a lot of people that... Um, well, that I know anyway, that uh, say that this is their favourite Resident Evil. Not my favourite. It's good, but first time I played it, I kind of was disappointed, to be honest. But then again, my, when I first played the first Resident Evil, I found it quite scary, probably because I was so young. And then when this one came out, I don't know, it didn't seem as scary. But then it's probably like I say, because I, I was older. But yeah. The older you get, the less scary games are. I think the only game now that I sort of, when I've played it, not that I've played it for ages, I only played it for a bit, like, well, quite a bit last year, was, oh, fuck's sake. No, it wasn't fuck's sake, that's not the name of the game. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, Fatal Frame. That game scares me. I do not like playing that alone. Alone. What else? You got the grudge, Jew on the grudge. That, I don't say that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I won't say Jew on the grudge was scary, but it made me jump. I actually tried that out for the first time with a mate. Um, you can play two player. One of you sort of walks around as normal, and the other person has. I think I mentioned it in my playthrough actually. The other person has the second Wii remote, and um, you can. When you press A on the Wii remote, you activate random scares. So my mate was playing it, he'd never played it before, and I was just sat back and occasionally I'd just keep pressing A and throw in like, all these random sort of scares. Shit, I didn't even get him. Oh fuck, man. Yeah, just wasting acid rounds left, right and centre here. There we go, I'm all out. There we go, right. So with um, good planning, I have everything I need to do this little, well it's not a puzzle, deal with this situation. Uh, I 
I've got a bad feeling. No, that's okay. I don't know why. I, I'm obviously thinking of something else. Might have been Resident Evil 3. Yeah, it's Resident Evil 3 I was thinking of. I was thinking that crank was going to break and I needed to find like a uh, a wrench. But that was Resident Evil 3 in the... When you have to get the petrol station shutters up. I was getting confused. Right. Use the cog. It looks like a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Gears. Urgh. And there it is. That's all we need to get out of here. I don't believe. Can you? It's really stupid because you can jump down there with Leon. Claire, it's not even obviously not as secure as Leon. Camera angle is this. Claire Redfield. Okay then, so back to um, the chief's office, and then it's time for a boss fight. I have, yeah, I've got some more grenade rounds, so they'll be coming with me. What else? I'm not, I don't really tend to use the crossbow that much. Don't know why, it's not, um... Not terrible. It's terrible. I suppose the, like, the crossbow would, is like... Claire's equivalent to Leon's shotgun, which like really is not fair. I thought that was a red herb. For some reason I thought I could get in that drawer. Unless I did it already, maybe, I don't know. One thing I'll say that I liked about this game was um, when I first played it, I thought it was genius how the two scenarios sort of overlapped and stuff. Don't know why. Obviously very easily impressed back then. Um, yeah, oh, did I, I, I did, didn't I? I put all the other tablets in already. Look at me saving time. Okay, so... Another red herb. I don't need you anymore. God, I got one health item. I need you. I'll take this along for the boss fight. Mm, yeah, I should do. Well, health wise, that's going to have to do, isn't it? Hopefully there's plenty of herbs down below. I mean in the sewer, obviously. Not my um not my lady parts, the VJJ. I wouldn't expect there to be many health items up there. Or down there, whatever. Disgusting. I'm sure I made many people drop their monocles then. Okay. The police station is done. Claire. Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Let's break her legs in case she tries to run away again. Only joking. Okay. And it is complete. Oh, secret entrance. More waste of taxpayers' money. Chief's diary. Pause. If you give a shit. Oh, brilliant. There was a perfect number of pages to say that. What an interesting painting. What's this? More stuff to read. Mail to the chief. Ooh, Burton. Barry. 
from William Birkin. God. He likes to go on a bit, doesn't he? Come on. This is longer than the latest Harry Potter book. I'd imagine. Never read it. Don't read Harry Potter. I don't read, really, to be fair. An elevator. It appears to go down. Well, I just read that, okay. Okay, well, let's go down, then. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. I'll send the kid down. Get in the lift, Sherry. Scream if there's any problems. I'm not coming down till it's safe. I'll give her the G launcher. She can take care of herself. Okay. Ah! Help me! Ah! Ah! Do you spit or swallow, Chief? You swallow. Hello. Now he could do with a monocle. Is there much use for having an eye on your arm? Anyway, we're not going that way. Sherry, it's safe, it's safe. No. We can't put a child in danger. No matter how funny it may be. Oh my god, what is this going to be? Some sort of sex chamber? I dread to think. You know, they have electricity, so what's the need for, like, torches either side of this door? <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. Greenberg is the genius behind the project. William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my place apart is yet another product of the G virus. The ultimate bio. be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Oh, I just can't take the pain! Well, that was conveniently timed. Okay, uh, was there anything in here? Oh, I just saw something. Yes, I will. We'll need them. What did I say? Disturbing stuff. Jars. <laughs> Four malin, chloroform, and other chemicals. Hmm, chloroform. Sounds like the chief was into a bit of date raping. Can we take this big saw? It's a saw. Fresh blood is smeared 